kind of a sign when former guy is calling his former press secretary, uh, Kayli McEnany, a rhino, and literally having a go at her, that loyalty isn't something that there is great amounts of around uh, the former losing president. Peter Navarro, you would have thought at least would have had, I don't know, uh, somebody from Fox, uh, a Tucker Carlson, somebody from Trump's office there supporting him as he faces uh, some time being locked up. But no, looked around, nothing, just a whistle. Navarro, centre and part of the last administration and now just booted out. Not even Stephen Miller turned up to support him where we're at. Unfortunately, um, the opposition behind us won't let this be heard, but we're going to do our best here. Uh, the one thing I would say before we um, before I turn it over Mr. Brand, uh, defendpeter.com. Defendpeter.com. Uh, this case is costing already almost a million dollars. I'm going to need your support, folks, for the appeal, defendpeter.com. So, uh, Mr. Brand? Yeah, well, uh, I would just say um, this case is now teed up for the Court of Appeals. Um, Judge Maida himself recognized this was a serious constitutional issue. For the first time in history, he held an evidentiary hearing on whether the privilege was properly invoked. While we disagree with him, we think there's a serious question here that the Court of Appeals will resolve maybe the Supreme Court. Uh, and that's something that we will, uh, we will pursue. How much was the fine? $9,500. Uh, Mr. Irving, please. Harry Dunn for Congress. Harry Dunn for Congress. Oh, Harry Dunn for Congress. Are we done? Oh, go ahead. No, I uh, just want to reiterate yeah, this hour. is an important constitutional issue. We've yeah, always understood that this case was going to have to be resolved at the D.C. Circuit. We've already noted our appeal. And we look forward to the opportunity to talk to the D.C. Circuit. Um, look, I'd be happy to talk to some of the, uh, the print media inside so that we're not harassed by uh, these folks here. But again, the, the important issue here is the central constitutional issue about the separation of powers and the integrity of presidential decision making. And... I have been caught in a battle between two competing branches of government, and um, this is this is uh, we're, we're about halfway to resolving this case. So I appreciate this. Um, I'm sorry for the video cameras that you can't get clean sound because of this, but but this is what this is what has happened to this country. And it's, it's unfortunate that they won't respect my First Amendment uh, rights here. DefendPeter.com, please, please put that out on your stations. Uh, and um, we try I'll walk in. Can we give it a shot? Do what? Can we try to ask a question? Uh, not really, we're because. All, we're all here. And we, and well, the, the problem is. Uh, oh, it is picking up fine? All right. Um, I'm going to uh, let my colleagues. All right, so, yes, sir. The question we have is, sure. it, it speaks for itself. Right. Are you expecting or hoping for a pardon from Donald Trump in 2025? No, I'm not expecting or hoping for that. That's not an issue. I do believe President Trump will win the White House in not 2025. But what's important to me, sir, and it's always been important to me, is the underlying constitutional issue associated with that. I would say that, that my standing up on this matter, uh, we've already achieved an important victory. The Department of Justice attorneys, after pressure from not just from my defense team, but also from the judge himself, finally acknowledged, finally acknowledged that senior presidential advisors, such as myself, cannot be compelled to testify. They have acknowledged that they would not prosecute in that case. So there's a there's very much a constitutional disconnect here. So the important mission here is to settle good law in an area where there is nothing now but mostly a vacuum. Remember, please, <laughs> I am the first person 
ever charged with this crime in the history of the Republic, the first senior White House advisor ever charged, ever charged, and, and what my defense team has beautifully done in cooperation with the court has set up a roadmap for all future prosecutions. As I said in the courtroom today, I am not only just the first person who's ever been charged with this, I will be the last person because of the roadmap we have established. Hey, Peter. So, yeah. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, yeah. If these commies behind us are going to keep on banging around so you can't have a straight <laughs> thought or be able to answer a question I'm with fine. With I'm some so these, these cameras you actually, go ahead and these so cameras so actually pick it up. I'll take it. I, I have no comment. The, 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 this issue is simply about the constitutional separation of powers, executive privilege, and the integrity of presidential decision making. And this is a principle that goes back to the days of George Washington. So anyway, write your stories well. I appreciate it. Uh, I've got a big fight ahead of me. I've got great, great folks behind me. DefendPeter.com. Please, DefendPeter.com. Help me raise the money in order to fight this battle. Thank you. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll we'll save that one for for uh, arguing in the the appeal. I'm not with, I'm not going to get into the uh, the minutia of that here. Anyway, um, thanks for coming out. At least we had some decent weather here, and um, I uh, unfortunately we'll see you again. Bye.